go from here. It's yet another awesome Radio Nomad segment. And I like this one. We started doing this one last week. And uh, we'll just call it our go-to segment. Because that's just what it is. On just, many levels. We're just always curious about what everybody's go-tos are. So, for example, if somebody were to ask me, Hey, Joe Bag of Donuts, what is your go-to radio show to listen to? I would definitely say... Radio Nomad. The KQ... Radio Nomad. That's right. Nomad. Nomad. Okay. So, uh, let's just... Let's dive into it. Hey, um... What's your guys' go-to toothpaste? Hey, girl. Tom's. Get off your phone. Nope. Tom's. It's the go-to segment. Tom's. Tom's. Tom's? Are you serious? Like Uncle Tom's? Tom's? Oh, Tom's is so terrible. Fluoride free. Like the shoes? Yeah, it tastes like yeah. crap. Yeah, it tastes free. It tastes that, like crap. Tom's has like 30 like flavors. Crap. No. Yeah. What I, toothpaste tastes good? Crest. Crest. The only Crest. one who buys based Col- on what's Col- on Colgate. sale. Colgate. Tons of coupons. Hey, girl, what's your go to? Tom's. Tom's, okay. Tom. Je- Tom's all the way. Literally, whatever's on sale. Really? I'm not going to spend oh. a lot of time Dude, or money Crest on... Dude, Crest is so gross. I would, I would like Crest? to mention I really don't like Ultra Bright. If anyone's ever ended up with some Ultra I Bright noticed in, that. Their, in their bathroom. Hmm. <laughs> if you buy AIM, it's like 79 cents a tube. Hey, well, so, Instant Messenger? Yeah. Instant. So AIM is my new Ooh. favorite go-to. Yeah. Well, Crest sometimes has it, like, I mean, I've gotten them for a dollar. That's but more it's, than 79 it's cents. It's better, sure if you're aware but it's that. better than like, oh, the Tom's just tastes so terrible. They have you get like, used to it. They, like anything yeah. all natural, oh, okay, you just yeah. get used to it. Tom's has like, like hey, I'll, I'll eat shit. Oh, eventually you get used to it. Well, no. You do. You they have 40 shit? different I flavors. You I do. won't eat shit. You really do get used to it. Tom's has 40 different flavors? At least, yeah. You go to the wedge, there's like a whole aisle of Tom's. That's great. I want to know what your go-to beer is at the bar. Cider. That's not beer. Try again. Cider. <laughs> Cider? Cider? Yeah, I can say it. Cider house rules. I don't Sorry. like anything else, really. At the bar, I go for... Okay, I generally get the tall boys, which, you know, because they're kind of cheaper. Yeah. And tall boy cans. I figure no matter what happens at the bar, my beer is going to be six bucks, so I get a dark beer. Mm. Like, mm. the darkest beer they have. Unless you get a tall boy. Like yeah. a Miller, That's not what I go with too. I get a good. I usually get a good beer because no matter what, it's gonna be super expensive. Or I just drink the fucking black labels I brought in in my bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice, mm-hmm. you do that too. I do. Yeah. yeah, especially when they've got a patio, you can just bring mm-hmm. your backpack in, like, or order one beer and then keep refilling it mm-hmm. with your can of beer. Yeah, Seems like a know. lot of work. I like to pack a forty or two. I like to have some gin packets. Gin packets. Gin packets. Gin packets. They sell those? Yeah, uh, yeah. not here, but they do sell gin mm. packets in the world. And uh, I used to have a whole bunch of them. It was the greatest thing in the world. Nice. Huh. Tastes like candy juice. Magic candy Crap juice. Candy, that candy juice. juice. Does anyone else have a go-to? Well, what's your? I go-to? mean, I could go on forever. I'm kind of curious what your what's your go-to toilet paper. I don't have any idea. Oh, oh. The that's cheapest. The well, okay, yeah. let me ask you this. So, go to the baby on it. Would you rather go to a soft toilet paper that's real thick or one that's cheaper and you get more of that's thinner who's thicker and thin? thinner who's starting oh i can't hey, hey girl cheaper and thinner yeah yeah that's me i'm cheaper and thinner because thicker clogs the toilet and if you right. want double ply it you just fucking fold it on top of itself there you go. exactly cheaper and thinner because when you go to your mom's house <laughs> you take a shit it's like whoa this toilet paper is like meant for a fucking palace really? she always buys she always buys the good stuff and i always buy the well shit good stuff. thing because we got king slam over here I was gonna he's say, king of indonesia so. yeah i think i'm gonna stop by later and drop a deuce at your mom's house <laughs> <laughs> beefy really the best way is the moist towelette ones oh, oh yeah i forgot yeah. about that yeah if yeah. i was king oh, slam I? but I they would, do clog have, they do clog. no they I don't, don't dude you gotta get the toilets. flushable safe i yeah. get the flushables then you're How using too you many using? yeah i don't know no, it's not one box per you poop i've never had the end, right? i've never had them clog but they can oh the cheap thin stuff that never clogs so they can but they don't one can you just use them at the end like after you've already used the cheap toilet paper just for like a little extra cleanup 
Yep. Mm, it's hard to. You know what? I have to you say, you always something. use it too tough, even oh. though you know you got a nice wet wipe. You know, I'm in. just gonna go ahead and say it. The best possible scenario here is just to have one of those like kitchen but, sprayers. A right bidet. There. Yeah, Beard bidet. likes the bidet. Yeah. Kitchen oh, sprayer. <laughs> no, I want the kitchen sprayer. He's been That's where it's at. We've been yeah. over this. Full yeah. control. <laughs> hey, what's your go-to insult? Ooh. Smell. Let's start with your mom. Mm, shut the fuck up. <laughs> we'll start with Moose with the beatbox to shut the fuck up in the middle finger. Uh, and then we'll go straight to Grandma Poop Head. <laughs> your mom? I don't know. It's fuck pretty... you. Fuck you. Of course. <laughs> yeah, that's like... a good one. You shut your mouth. You shut your mouth right now. <laughs> I'm full of beard. Yeah. You look very flexible. <laughs> that's a pretty good one. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Very uh, flexible. <laughs> Mine's usually just to uh, tell people that I hope they fucking die. Mm, that's a good one. I frequently tell people I hope they get cancer in their hair. In their hair? Why? Well, because I don't actually want to wish cancer on somebody, oh, but no, I, I would either. also like actually, I would. to be known to as be the, bald? you know, I, I, I want them to know I'm serious. <laughs> so cancer is bald? dead serious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's I like uh, you, you smell like poop. Yeah, is that is that effective? No, nope. nope. funny. It is funny. I mean, poop's funny. I heard Grandma Candy Juice goes for weeks without toilet paper in her house before Ooh. inviting people over just so they'll go get toilet paper for her. Sam Ooh. definitely had to go buy toilet paper <laughs> when he came over the other day. Like with poop still between the cheeks? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I I, did, I didn't I didn't need market. it. I just didn't want to hang out with people who don't. Who smell like they don't wipe their butts? Oh uh, yeah. Is that something Anymore. you investigate? <laughs> right when you come in, you're like, "Do you have toilet paper?" That's kind of, I'm gonna go get. That's it. usually my that that's my go to greeting. Okay. That's kind of what's all, your go to greeting? That's all along that's the same lines. My go to greeting is, "Hey, I don't care if you have toilet paper. I'm gonna hang out." Weird. That's so contradictory. I my go to greeting is, "Fuck you." Mine is <laughs> same as your insult. Yeah. I think my go to greeting has got to be just yo. Yeah. My go to greeting is usually just like a high five. Yeah. It's unspoken. Mine's hey yo. Oh. All right. Here's, here's, sense here's you know, a tough one girl. for you. What's your go to response? Now, this is, this is a modern era one, but mm. what's your go to response when somebody sends you a text that doesn't need a response, but you feel like you should let them know that you got it? I hate that. Mine's K. Yeah. I agree. It's not word. Say word. Just the word. word. That's Mine's good. always just a normal response, like, like okay or all right but i always spell it incorrectly so like I, instead of i i put like e y e t how do you spell okay incorrectly like o c h a i okay okay <laughs> okay see what i mean like okay. it's really not that tough okay. to do I mean, that's actually just, correct so. I, I i go with word dub okay i go with cool. two d's word dub cool cool, cool. 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 Yeah. Cool, cool, what's cool. your okay? What's your go-to Saturday afternoon activity? Basketball. Mm, yeah. This right now. Drawing. Radio oh, Nomad. What? Do you want to know what mine is? Yeah. Uh, mine is probably going and getting a little treat hmm? oh. from a bakery. Oh, what kind of treat? Bakery there. Treat. Maybe a little muffin. Oh. My yeah. mine lately has been picking up stray Californians at the airport. Homeless ones? Mm-hmm. Homeless California. Well, there's no other kind. Say, so. How many Saturdays in a row have you done that? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> yeah. And what, too many all at once. Yeah. What's your uh, What's your go-to deodorant? Uh, Old Spice. Old Spice. Yeah. Old Spice. Wow. Yeah. I, well, Great commercials. Same. Great product. Yeah. I I am aware of Old Spice. Mine's that degree. Degree? Yeah. For 90, 98. Fair what, enough. What's your go-to boy band? Backstreet. <laughs> Backstreet, Old they're Spice. back, dude. dude. Boys to Men. Oh, oh boys! B2 just man. saw them, by the way. Did you? Oh yeah, they were. Did they good. take their shirts off? Or are they fat? So, Uber hot. Did you no, just only see one's them? Fat. Oh. Yeah, went to New Kids on they, the Block, yo. Oh, they you take went their to pants the concert. Off, I thought you just saw no. them like at the airport or something. Damn. They never had their I fully, pants on. Fully paid seventy dollars to see some boy bands. Gross. And it was awesome. That kind of sounds like it's worth it, actually. It was awesome. Hey, has anyone heard? There's this boy band called One. I think it's called One Direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One Direction. Yeah. Isn't that weird that there's like boy bands are are a thing again? Like, yeah. wasn't there a while where they weren't a thing? Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh yeah, for a long yeah. time. No, because there's the Jonas Brothers there for a they're long. They're not time. a boy band. What were they? They're like a. They're they weren't like a man. A, they're band. just well, like a super hot like. There's Young girl groups coming boys. back too. They that sounds hot. like a boy band to yeah. me. I'm gonna be honest with you right now. 
Oh, uh, wait. What's your go-to girl band? Hanson. Right now. Right now. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I don't forget what they're called. They Josie were the on the X Cats? Factor. Oh, they sound good. Are they the ones who sang acapella after yeah, Simon yeah, ripped yeah. them? Maybe. I don't even know. I mean, they were on last yes. season. I think my go-to girl band is still the Spice Girls. DC. Yeah. Yeah, I think everyone can agree on that. Spice for life. Yeah, spice yeah, for I, life. I, I guess as defined by what a girl ah. band is. If you what gave me a few more zig options, zig ah. which there are not more options, Nobody I might knows. be able to decide on a yeah. different one. Wait, yeah, I don't even know any other uh, girl bands. Does Destiny's Child TLC? count? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dest- oh, Destiny. Those are my girls. Yeah, yeah. Like, there were like uh, there were like a shitload like, of them in the '90s. Like there was like SWV. Oh Sisters yeah. With voices. Salt and Pepper. Like that. Ace of Base. Is that what that stood for? I never yeah. knew that. Yeah. Well, fun. Mine's Ace of Base though for sure. Oh, Ace of Base. They had well, men and women band. in it. Does that count? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. That was just a band. Oh, we did this one the other week. Uh, what's I'm your go-to karaoke song? Oh man. Take on me. Oh, oh aha, uh-huh. that's a good one. Damn. Good one. Uh-huh. Janice Joplin. Janice Peace Joplin, what? Oh. Mine's yeah. Rush, Closer to the Heart. Oh. Hotel Yorba. Still. <laughs> same, same one I said last week, I'm pretty sure. I haven't done karaoke since I was eight years old. Boom! Oh, that's since a really, really good song. Old. So really? what was your go-to oh. back then? Okay, what's your go-to cover if you, if you get to cho- sing any cover? Mm-hmm. If you were in a band singing a cover, it's what would be some Eddie, too? It's probably yeah. some Trampled by Turtles song. Yeah, she does yeah I definitely do a couple Trampled by Turtles covers. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. What are they? Can we get a bar? <sighs> I'm too embarrassed. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. How about uh, go Not to fair. Park in Minneapolis? Oh, Minnehaha. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nicolas. I'd probably have to go with Minnehaha. Huh? Nicholas. Like mm-hmm. like... Audubon Park, because I live there. Boom Island, because it's right by my house. Word. Love that one. Mm. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's a good one. I like going to... I, I, go to eatery. Go to breakfast eatery. Oh, boy. That's that's way too hard of a rock. Hazel's. I'd like to Everyone's throw out got a favorite. Uh, yeah. Papa's Cafe in New Hope. Oh, Minnesota. Hazel's is good. Mm. Yeah. It's really good. Triple Rock. Hard Times. Best Bloody Marys. Hard... Hazels. What is your go-to morning drink? You know, you've had that long, long Bloody's. night. Bloody Mary. Bloody? Coffee. Coffee. Bloody Georgie oh. beef Latte. tips. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were implying alcoholic Okay, no, no. Beverage. Alcoholic drink. Come on. Okay, I beer. say bloody. Shitty beer. What? Not bloody? Mm. Oh. Mimosa. Oh. Fancy. You know, the last yeah. mimosa I had was terrible. Like, the, the ratio was all off. Oh, really? It was basically just like a... a a, a glass of champagne first thing in the morning. Which Where was it? We can, we can counter sponsor them. Yeah. Champagne or mimosas? Where was? Where did you get the it? place you got it? Oh, um, you know, I don't. I think it was a hotel. No meds ahoy! Don't go to hotels and get my mimosas. No, no hotel. No, don't do it. Mm-mm. They're it's bad. Uh, bad news bears. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's your uh, go to? Uh, okay. What's your go-to in the summertime for shirt? You wear a t-shirt? Wife beater. Oh. Straight wife beaters, no matter what. <laughs> button-ups. I like, I like me t-shirt. some button-ups. Button-up wife beaters? Yeah, button-up wife beaters. <laughs> <laughs> Classing it up. I've got a couple of prototypes. Uh, Haynes hasn't gotten back to me yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fruit of the Loom will apparently buy anything. Oof. Hmm. Just uh, saying that. GCJ. What's your button? Cut, like a cut up tank top or like a cut up t shirt that's now a tank top that looks like a piece of shit, probably. What's your go to shopping? What about spot? this century? Shopping for what? <laughs> uh, if you need if you need some new clothes, yeah. where are you going shopping? I'm going to the max. Coles. Len. Target. Uh where? Tar- uh, bullseye. Yeah, that's what I thought. I agree. I'm about to give them a free shout out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, bullseye. Or the thrift store. Yep. Thrift stores pretty good. Yeah. Thrift stores are getting pretty expensive though. Yeah, you might as well go to Target at this point. Uh, Well, Target's even getting expensive. Well, if you go right at the change of the season, yeah, then they have that huge like seventy percent off rack, depending on the Target you go to. Target got a bunch of crap on sale right now. Mm Mm-hmm. Because the seasons are changing, so they got to get rid of all their summer clothes. Not sponsoring them. Oh, I mean, uh, Bullseye. I don't even know that. (laughs) I don't know what that what that Target. You mean like Target practice? What's your go-to, um, you know... Uh, Soundbite? Yeah. <laughs> no. Why don't you just tell us yours? Uh, nope. Okay, fine, don't. 
Yeah. Um, Let me tell you. Oh. What I, you know what my go-to is? It's got end of the segment. Uh-huh. Beard has nothing to go to. I don't know if that counts as a go-to. No idea what he's doing over there. He just pushes buttons at random, and sometimes it works out. He's actually just a trained chimpanzee. <laughs> Well, his uh, ACT score is definitely uh, definitely represented that. So, uh, but you know, we won't talk about that. It was it was a different life. It was a long time ago. Uh, so we got a four. Big deal. Uh, we're just going no matter. Still a here. record. We're talking about our go-tos, and and uh, we got we got a good stew crew, and we definitely got a, a good gaggle of friends here. So we'll see you next segment on the Wild and Crazy Nightcap Nomad. Girl is a really smart one.